and we're underway. Princeton wins the first face off for Yale, and the Bulldogs are on top one zip. And they'll win the face off. And so I, I think that as much as you love to applaud Schreiber, it's almost like you, you might have to come up with that if, you know, from a, a Yale standpoint with the save. Oh, you said it. That was the matchup today. This is a, a, a critical face-off here. If Levins can win this and create a last shot opportunity for Yale, they're able to maybe tie it up or, or stop the momentum. That might not be the case, though. Oh. Justin Murphy at the X against Dylan Levins for Yale, and it's still loose. He knocked over that time, Nick Fernandez. How about the drill right there with the turnover, like you said, his first cost turnover of the season that just takes it right in for the goal to tie it up at two. Princeton, New Jersey, Mike Corey alongside four-time lacrosse All-American Ryan Boyle as the second quarter is back this year is averaging a hat trick at three goals per game. That's good for seventh in the nation, his 16th goal of the season now for Yale to put him on top three to two. And the faceoff won by the, the top step to create a better shooting angle. McDonald got the assist on that one. Tied at three. Quick faceoff win as Levins takes it in, shoots it. Sim simply pops it forward to himself. No one slides, and he shows that you need to respect him in transition. The faceoff X can be feast or famine. Levins shows exactly the yeah, This afternoon, how about Dylan Levins for the Bulldogs? Yeah, one of the best in the country, dominant against Cornell last week, but here he shows his versatility by burying one. Right on. So important to Yale's success. And it's not like he hasn't been able to do that before. He took seven shots this season, Ryan, to no avail. This one, he gets the goal. Another big battle at the X. at four with under a minute to go in the first half. Critical juncture again, that last minute of every quarter. Levins, if he can control this, can give Yale that last possession. Good wing play right there, too. And he got it to Michael McCormack, and now heavy pressure by the Tigers. Both at 0-1 in the Ivy League. And it's been a fight at the face-off X all afternoon. Who's going to get the advantage as we're not at five apiece? And now Princeton with the win picked up by Derek Raby. Look, with the drill inside, you have to respect that, which then creates those, the exact same thing earlier in the game. It was. It was the senior Jeff that scored earlier. And then Jake, the freshman, comes back with a goal on the feed from Schreiber, who has two assists so far today for the Tigers. Almost an identical play there, that, that hitch and top step. Levins. And over to McCormack. Moving with his strong hand as opposed to switching hands to increase his angle. Look at this and a face off. One here by the Tigers. Here yeah. come. So I'm sure Coach Shea is. Very proud of the fact that he called time out there. There's a really well timed and a weak gathering. Who's going to come up with this one? Still loose. One's in. Those are the ones that kind of beyond coaching, beyond playing, just kind of breaks of the game. This is kind of like you're in the red zone and you throw an interception run back for a touchdown. It, it really is a two-goal swing there. You're going to let that go. You know what I mean? That, that, was, a, that was pretty close. But you're correct about being pushed in the back. He's certainly and their won. offensive leader in the drill, most improved player, stepping up. That's why this game is so tightly contested. Many offensive and defensive midfielders. The two-way midfielder is back. I was asking you about that earlier in terms of the difference of just being on. Creates an angle, steps up field, and buries a, a big goal to push the lead back to two. Well, Schreiber's kind of done everything this season for Princeton in terms of scoring and assists. Look at this action here, the face-off X. Going to be won by Yale, picked up by John Ambrose. He's that was, he had plenty of space that you just talked about right there. Three-goal separation, largest lead for Princeton here today. 
It just looked like Otero just lost his footing now. The leading scores in the country. I'll tell you, this guy had six goals in the win over Albany earlier this year. He has two today. 17 on a season, but a big face-off win. You, you look at Coach Bates and the coaching staff, and they have this strategy having the defensive midfielders on the second unit, but they might get a little tired. Big win by Dylan Levins now for Yale at the X.